Good evening. And Welcome to Mum, McLoon on Maui. Today's seminar number 15. It is uh, June the 6th. Got all. Let's get going. Scientists will say that thought is slower than light. But McLuhan said that you can think about going to uh, the moon faster than getting there. So McLuhan's the one who said thought goes faster than the speed of light. Now that's contra what the establishment would say. But I'm willing to consider his view. So I decided, yeah, thought goes faster than the speed of light. He could even call it ESP. And knowing that the digital interaction is faster than the broadcast analog media in, in the way you can respond to it, I call that thought. See, that reminds me of, you know, you know who. If you want to know what's happening on Mars, forget about the rocket ship. Just take a look and see what's happening. Yeah, think about it. And think no, would mean... No, just take a look and know. You can know what's happening. Right, and what his name is saying, take thought and use that to mold your world by using words. He turns the old word environment into art form and says everything is word, not thought. It's yeah, like great, that's, that's, that's like that's the great kazoo. That doesn't help any. It's better to have two people talk about what they mean about thought and word. It gets more subtle that way than to make declarative statements. Oh, we could just say it was a cross, uh, cross line. Oh, go into it. Go, go into what you, God says something, then you say something, yeah. then he says something. The interplay of that is more interesting than if we finally get someone saying what was you know, happening. I've tried to, to, uh, to introduce this idea to people that it's possible to, to know. And knowing is more knowing than, say, knowledge. Knowledge is accumulation of perception and experience, and then it turns into knowledge. But knowing is direct. It's, uh, hard yeah, to I call that thought. But every time I've ever tried to bring up that possibility that we could actually know, just have direct knowledge, I get into trouble with people. Yeah, well, because no. you, you're talking about knowing and then have direct knowledge. Knowledge then brings in a string of images or words that you might want to say. The thought is knowing. No. Yes, yes no. of thought course. Thought is rumination. No, no, wait, Scott. You say no, and Rob says yes. Look at that interval. Go with both sides at the same time. Well, we can deliberate about it. Yeah. Knowing that uh, you pretend to be one side and Rob be the other side. And knowing that we're in the space in between. And we might not have a word for that. Take a look at these guys that measure the electrical activity going on in the brain. You can measure thought in a way. and uh, But that's on a grosser level than... than no, that's a good example. Thought. What the heck are they measuring? If you well, can whatever it is, it's a grosser level and it's slower than knowing. Knowing is... Uh, just, just no, knowing is, is... Remember, this quote, the dance of thought among words, when McLuhan on page 136 lays out eight kinds of knowing and shows the bias of those knowing. That's why you should not emphasize the word knowing unless you can break it up into eight types. What are the yeah, eight that, types, Bob? What are the eight types of knowing? But, I mean, I've been through this before, Scott. You know, the, the British say I know it like the back of my hand. The Russians say oh, I know it like that, the... Oh, that, yeah, okay, I didn't realize that's what you were referring to. Yeah, that, those no, are the that, four... That, that's not what I'm... That's not what I'm... That's not what I'm well, what it is, I don't because... even want to attempt to... No, 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 you attempt. Damn that's the, come on, it's an attempt. We, uh, look, we know you're going to fail, but attempt look, it anyway. Bob, if you... If you want to know what's happening on Mars right now, and you have it within your capacity to actually know what's going on on Mars right now, without thinking about it, that's different from th from, from from thinking about what's going on. Well, on wait, Mars. well, how would I know it if I didn't not thinking? If I wasn't thinking? Now, I would include thinking an image. Just have to I turn mean, it what on. do you know? You got to have an image. That's a thought. If McLuhan writes to these executives, you know, in the early '60s. We're in the age of intuition, which is another way of saying the age of knowing. Yeah. I know what the news is before I read about it, right? I well, can see it, I hear it. With my friends in, in New Guinea, I can feel it. Right, that's what McClellan said, but I'm just thinking the technical thing. We used to know by reading books and letters and newspapers. When you can turn on the radio and hear it now, your knowing happens faster. So the, there's a ground well, that makes that change. Your simulation of uh, <laughs> well, what's wrong with simulacra? Yeah, call it simulacra. I'm talking about the ground of my being is having a radio and hearing something.